I had someone ask recently about making tinctures, and so you can make a tincture out of fresh herbs, like I'm going to do, or you can use dried herbs. So today I'm going to make a tincture out of my toothache plant buds. Um, these are really interesting plants. This is the first year that I've grown them, and they've been they've grown great. So I will continue growing them. But these little plants are really neat. Um, indicative to their name, toothache plant. I mean, they have several other names, but indicative to their name, they would be used for toothaches, mouth sores, things like that, because they have a analgesic effect. And so, not only um, can you use them for mouth sores and things, but other areas that may need pain relief. The really cool thing is that if you use the fresh buds in a tincture, it will carry some of that action with it into the tincture and can be used later on topically. So that's what I've decided to do today because honestly I've got look at all of them I've got my plants have gone crazy so I'm going to show you how to do that with fresh herbs I'm going to explain their ratios um, because they will change if you're using fresh or you're using dried so keep that in mind when you're making your tinctures so I'm going to walk you through this it's really simple really easy takes minutes When making a tincture, you can use fresh herbs, like I've done here with my toothache, or you can use the dried herbs. The ratio does change. So for fresh herbs, it is one to two, which is one part, uh, one part herbs, two part solvent, which is my vodka. If you're using dry herbs, it's one to five. One part dried herbs, five part solvent. So you'll simply add your your herbs to a jar like I have here. You'll add your your solvent or your your alcohol. So vodka is what you're going to want to use for this. Um, it has to be 80 proof or above. Uh, you're going to allow this to sit for about two to four weeks. You're, one, you're going to want to make sure that you shake and you burp your jar. Keep in mind that alcohol does evaporate. So you're going to have to, to cap it, to lid it, and you're going to have to burp it, which means simply um, lifting the lid and allowing some of those fumes out during that time. So again, you're going to allow this to sit two to four weeks, shaking and burping daily, and then you're going to want to bottle and label it at the end of that um, four week period. And so this is my toothache plant that I've used fresh. I don't necessarily measure out. I usually eye it, I gauge it simply by visual. Um, but that's simple, easy, took me a couple of minutes to do. Again, you can do this with both dried and fresh herbs uh, mostly. There are some thing, there are some herbs that um, you have to be careful with. I think cinnamon is one of them. I'm not sure I'll have to look that back up. Um, but most herbs you can uh, make with a tincture. 